Peaky Blinders, after six seasons, is done, bringing an end to the narrative story of Killian Murphy's Tommy Shelby and his powerful criminal family in 1930s Birmingham. Peaky Blinders season six might have drawn criticism for its pace. At the end of the day, the full-length finale paid off the season's key plot lines while offering a stripped nerve picture of Tommy's state of mind. Assuming the initial five seasons were a journey through Tommy's rise to control, Peaky Blinders Season 6 was a more clear exploration of the expanse of that rise. This video contains spoilers for Peaky Blinders Season 6. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Generally, all good things must come to an end, and following 10 years of moody interwar scenes, family quarrels, gangland wars, and a healthy dose of gypsy superstition, we finally arrived at the Peaky Blinders final curtain. For just six episodes, there was a ton riding on the final season. Peaky Blinders Season 6's finale uncovered the real answers to Little Ruby's vision of the green-eyed man, as well as a definitive response on who might win the fight between Michael and Tommy, as anticipated by Polly Gray toward the end of Season 5. There might not have been full stops at each component of Peaky Blinders' different story threads. However, with the spin-off movie guaranteed as the final chapter in the Shelby story, there are numerous hints of what the next stage of this turning saga could involve. The Peaky Blinders Season 6 finale initiates with Michael being let out of jail in Boston, courtesy of mobster Jack Nelson, relying on the condition that he will kill Tommy. In the meantime, the Shelby Patriarch is getting his affairs together for the last leg of his business arrangement, a trip to Canada to gather $5 million for the heroin shipment and his subsequent demise, which Arthur learns of after taking the keys to his safe. While Tommy's airborne headed to meet with Michael, his home is a hive of activity. Duke, Isaiah, Finn, Billy, and different other Peakies descend upon Tommy's home to remove the bodies buried on the grounds before the contractors move in and to gather different things and documents. In the meantime, Arthur pulls up a chair at the garrison where he guarantees he'll drink champagne with his wife Linda, leaving him vulnerable to attack. The night doesn't work out as planned by the Peakies' enemies. Here's what happened to the main characters in Season 6. Tommy Shelby Believing he had tuberculoma, Tommy set his final preparations in place, taking care of his loose ends and even blowing up his home to clear a path for new homes for the working class of Birmingham. He then, at that point, retired, saying goodbye to his family and giving over everything to Ada, intending to die alone in isolation with his horses. However, at that point, a message from his dead daughter Ruby gave some clarity that gave him, in a real sense, another lease of life. After Ruby's message encouraged Tommy to head towards the campfire, light the fire once more and get warm and you will see that you must live. A fragment of a newspaper article about the marriage on the fire showed Tommy reality. That Dr. Holford, who gave him the dangerous diagnosis, was all part of an elaborate scam. Holford later excuses his activities, saying that Tommy is a sick man. Even though he holds a gun to his head, Tommy at last chooses to save his life revived by the knowledge that he isn't going to die. Returning to the caravan he presently lives in is on fire. Instead of fighting it, he takes off on his horse, prepared to make a new life for himself. Duke Shelby Duke's been completely brought into the fold within merely weeks, admitting that he had killed a man before he turned into a member of the Blinders, an orderly for refusing to help his mom at the hospital since she was a gypsy. It turns out he was just upset about witnessing the terrible garrot moment last episode since he tracked it down as unjustifiable, not because that blood made him sick. Also, as it happens, he's a damn good shot as well. With betrayer Billy Grade meeting his maker at his hand with the assistance of Isaiah and Finn being pushed out of the family for good because of carrying a traitor into the ranks, it turns out there was a reason Finn was barely seen at all this season. He wasn't trusted. Under order from Tommy, Isaiah and Duke got to work clearing out Tommy's home, with Finn and Billy turning up later to party in celebration. Just they were then trapped, with Billy getting shot in the head and Finn leaving while vowing vengeance after Duke declares that he's no longer a shell. Arthur Shelby A newly clean Arthur returned home from the brink we've seen him at all season and was accountable for the IRA leg of the activity waiting quietly at the garrison pub for Captain Swing and her cohorts to come and get him. It didn't take more time for things to get complicated, with a massive shootout resulting. 
Arthur was alongside Jeremiah and his crew, with Swing and her associates immediately outnumbered, even with a sniper helping them in the rafters. After eventually tossing mustard gas into the mix, the Peaky Blinders arise triumph, with Arthur giving Swing sufficient recovery to breathe before shooting her in the heart in vengeance for what she did to Aunt Polly. Arthur is the only person in the family Tommy tells about his diagnosis and is too distressed to even consider being at the last farewell dinner to his sibling, Michael Gray. When he showed up, he was lost track by a reunion with Gina, who advises him of plans to kill Tommy, but also Arthur, young Charlie, and newcomer Duke. The idea throws Michael, who has essentially subscribed to the No Children, No Ladies murder policy. Organizing to meet Tommy in Canada, he figures out how to establish a bomb in his car, just he doesn't depend on Johnny Dogs being there to switch it into his own while Michael occupies Tommy. Whenever the bomb goes off, Michael is irked to find that his job wasn't finished, all things considered, and Tommy shoots him in the eye, finishing Polly's prophecy that there'll be a war and one of them dies. Liz Shelby. Lizzie officially arrived at the end of her tether after finding Tommy had slept with Diana Mitford and chose to leave him. Still upset over the demise of her girl Ruby, she's astonished when Tommy's son Charlie requests to join her instead of staying with him. You may not be my mom, yet you're more my mom than he's my father, the 12-year-old says, and Tommy yields, accepting he's dying anyway and his child will be taken care of. What will the ending of the Peaky Blinders mean for the film? Well, the big takeaway is that Tommy Shelby isn't dead, and that implies that a Peaky Blinders film would more likely feature him. Many plot focuses were settled in the finale. Michael Gray, Captain Swing, and the trickster Billy have all been dealt with. Similarly, Alfie will be a satisfied customer, having become king of Boston, and will probably not bother Tommy later on. Yet many threads have been left unsettled and might be returned in the film. Castrator-in-Chief Jack Nelson didn't feature at all in the finale, and he and Gina might look for vengeance for the killing of Michael. Most likely, the IRA will likewise have a few complaints around three of their crew being executed by the blinders. Finn has likewise vowed vengeance on Duke and Isaiah, so the stage looks set for his return. Furthermore, Oswald and Diana had anticipated that their plan should end with Tommy's death at his hand. Now that hasn't occurred, they might attempt to track down other ways to eliminate him. Furthermore, with a slow death no longer looming over him, Tommy might well intend to get Lizzie and his son back. The review for Peaky Blinders. The viewers were guaranteed an action-packed finale, and the show did deliver. Michael got his proper recompense, Arthur got his opportunity to avenge Polly, and Tommy made the ultimate comeback. The last ever episode of Peaky Blinders wasn't nearly as disheartening as we expected, and the door has been left open for the film that had been so heavily rumored. All things considered, there are as many questions left unanswered. For what reason did Tommy drop his fascist fallout plan? What incited Duke, nearly leaving the Shelby clan altogether to do a turnaround and become a Peaky Blinder proper? What did Tommy whisper to his illegitimate child at the farewell lunch? How has Finn wandered such a long way from the family? Will Tommy return to his former ways or embrace the freedom in his death and start a new life off-grid? The TV series might be finished. However, as the creator of the show Stephen Knight has said, this is only the start of the end. The Peaky Blinders story may just barely be starting. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.